Okay, today we'll be opening up this used Napa Pro Performer cartridge oil filter, number 27082MP. And I got this used Napa Pro Performer cartridge oil filter from a very generous viewer whose name is Bill from Makina, Illinois. Thanks, Bill. This filter was in service for two and a half months, 4,810 miles and came off of Bill's 2012 Chevy Malibu. Yep, the one with the 2.4 liter Ecotec four-cylinder engine, which now has 93,859 miles. He was using Napa 5W30 synthetic blend oil during this period. Let's open up this Napa Pro Performer cartridge oil filter and see how it looks. So let's get started. It's just a network. You got a really silicone, nice and tight. Get your hand here. Okay, so before we open this filter up, let's take a quick look at it. Made in Korea. You got the filter number. And this filter has glued seam right there. I see space pleats. There's uh, 55 pleats on this filter. Yeah, these are really nicely spaced. plastic on these end caps. There's also a plastic inside of here to keep it together. There. Spins. It looks like a silicone o-ring. And this filter is rated for 5,000 miles. I'm getting all these uh, specs off of Napa's website. It's a cellulose media with a multi-pass efficiency rating of 96% for particles as small as 20 microns. And yeah, it looks like a pretty nice filter. Let's get a measurement of it. Width. 2.41 inches wide. Oops. All right, well, let's cut this filter open. Squeeze it out, stretch it out, and see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so here's the filter all stretched out. And the snap of filter is 51 inches long. Okay, let's get the thickness of this filter media. 0.67 millimeters thick. This is the filtering side, back side. And this filter is really clean on the surface, but you're gonna see under the microscope picture that there's some little soot, soot and carbon particles that this uh, filter media caught. So let's take a look at that picture. So as you can see, it did catch some soot and carbon particles, and there's also a couple light spots in the filter media. But overall, I think it did a pretty good job. And uh, let's take a look at the filter media up close. So you can see the surface is pretty clean, just in between the seams. You know, there's 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 some darker areas, but overall it looks really clean, and there's no metal particles. I would say uh, Bill's engine's running pretty clean. You know, I've seen a lot of sooty oil filters, and this one, this one ain't too bad. Yeah, this this filter media is pretty clean. Just a little bit there, but it looks clean throughout. Now let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So there's really not too much to these filters. You know, you get just get your plastic here. This is the center. And that's it. And this thing spins. Oh, in case anybody's interested, this is the box that the filter came in. There's really no information on this box, so... I mean, you can look through here. It just says, see product for country of origin. That's it. Pretty plain white box. 
with the filter number on it. So I think this filter did a pretty good job. It's rated for 5,000 miles, and it looks like it did its job. Also, Bill was running a synthetic blend Napa oil, and this filter looks pretty clean. So I would say that's a pretty good combination he's got going. So what do you guys think about this filter? And again, I want to thank Bill for sending me this used cartridge oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.